Weirdlings. Hi, I'm Danielle, and before we get started today, I want you to run over to dftba.com slash weirdlings so that you can grab yourself some merch. Thanks. Back to the video. Okay, guys, like I said, my name is Danielle, and today I'm gonna be drawing some Pokemon Sun and Moon stuff, and I'm really excited about it because the game is really cute, and I love it, and it's super great. This video was partially inspired by a comment from Sean Fiegels on YouTube who asked if I could do a video about pens and markers and shading, and so I did. <laughs> I'm also gonna be talking about Copics versus Prismacolor and how I go about using them. So, uh, let's get started. <laughs> First, we're gonna start off with Copics. There are 358 different colors of permanent, non-toxic, alcohol-based markers that are refillable. Within the Copic brand, there are Copic Originals, which are basic markers with broad tip and fine tip nibs, Copic Wides, which are very broad tips. These are super great for background work and large areas, and they suck up lots of ink. Um, these are also available in only limited colors. Copic Sketch Markers are broad tip on one side, brush tip on the other, and these are ideal for fine art and industry standard for marker works. Copic Sketch are also the ones that have the biggest variety of color. And there's also Copic Kiao, Copic Chow, Copic Cow, Copic Chow, 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 Chow. These are the cheaper version of the Copic Sketch Markers. They don't hold as much ink and they are also only available in limited colors. It's not compatible with the Copic Airbrush system. It's also cylindrical, so it's harder to hold and there are no color names on top. This is an okay marker, but I highly recommend getting your Copic Sketches because the numbers and the names of the colors being on the marker itself and that squarish shape are really, really beneficial in the long run. Most Copics are reusable, so the colors and nibs are also replaceable and you should never throw your markers away. This is a really great system and it keeps your marker skeletons from needing to ever go bad. Also, if you get your Copic sketches, then you have exactly the color name that you need in order to refill your stuff online. I will link them in the description below, but the Carpe Diem store or Uzak.com are great places for you to order these online at a great value. You can also go to your local Hobby Lobby and pick up packs and individual markers. Definitely look up your weekly 40% off coupon if you end up going to Hobby Lobby so that you can go ahead and get those discounts and kind of keep those markers under wraps. If you buy them in bulk, then you can save some money when you use your 40% off coupon. On to Prismacolor. Prismacolors are also alcohol-based markers. They're dye-based, non-toxic with a variety of products. There are 156 colors and these are non-refillable. The price point is slightly less than Copics, but the non-refillable option means you'll spend more over time replacing these when whenever they're not used sparingly. There's a Premier Chisel Fine Double Edged brush that has the chisel version on one side which is much larger and then the small teeny tiny fine detailing nib that looks like a little bullet. There's also the Scholar Marker which is water-based ink intended for beginner level marker users and it's available in bullet or brush tip. There's also the Illustration Marker which is archival quality ink, white fast ink, smear resistant when dry, fine brush and chisel tip from 0.005 to 0.5. The illustration markers are fine liners and they're super, super duper useful. I really like them a lot. There's also brush and fine art markers, which have the same ink as the Premier Chisel Fine Art markers. Now that I've explained what's available for both types of markers, I'll go ahead and tell you how I use them and what I prefer. So I think that Copics absolutely reign supreme in the industry standard for marker art. I really like the way that they layer. It feels a lot like working with watercolor. They are super color fast and true to what's on the actual marker tip, which is really great because the color payoff is exactly what you're looking for. You don't have to guess what color is behind the tips. I feel like sometimes, especially with Prismas, the color that you're getting is a lot more saturated than what is on the tip and it's darker. So I feel like Copics are really true to what you're gonna get. I really like using Copics to layer with skin tones and those other things, I think it works out a lot better than it does with Prismas, but Prismas are really great for saturating things like clothing or uh, large background areas or things like that. A lot of what I'm doing whenever I'm working with my blending and shading stuff is just using one color and then going in with multiple layers of it to build up depth and dimension. I also like using contrasting or complementary colors in order to create shadow and depth. A lot of blues and purples are going to make really, really great shadowing colors underneath your other stuff. Also build up layers of multiple colors to give dimension. I think 
it really helps the weight of the character kind of be felt through the shading and everything like that. And it's not terribly hard to do, you just have to know when to do it and how to do it. Another key tip I'd like to share with you is using colored pencils on top of your Copics and your Prismas in order to blend things out. It's a really useful and exciting trick in order to uh, get your colors super well blended and add a lot of texture and depth into your piece. I only had a white one available today so that's what I used for a lot of my highlighting and stuff, but I definitely encourage you to check out using your uh, colored pencils on top of your markers for a, a new and different effect. Try yourself some Copic markers, try yourself some Prismas, see which ones work for you, see what budget works for you, buy in bulk if you can, and check out the resources that I've given you online to see which things you like. That's my video about Copics and Prismas. This was super duper fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and check us out over at dftba.com slash weirdlings, and watch me and the rest of the weirdlings over at theweirdlings.com. See you next time.